Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be making some guacamole. Uh, these ingredients are all to taste. The amount of ingredient is going to be a matter of your personal preference. For example, you may like more tomato than onion or vice versa. Or you may decide that you don't want any pepper at all, and that's okay too. It's just going to be a matter of taste. Okay. You need some avocado, tomato, garlic, some onion, any color onion will be fine. Lime, which is also optional, as well as the pepper. You can also substitute garlic powder instead of the garlic or you can also do onion powder in lieu of the onion. I also add salt and pepper. I've got my salt and pepper in these nice cute little owl shakers. <laughs> I think these are really cute. I got these as a gift. Okay. Now to begin, the first thing that you want to do is to get your avocado out of the skin. I've got a bowl right here that I'm going to put it in. And we're going to scoop the avocado out into the bowl using a spoon. You can see I've already removed the pits. That's the first step. I already got those pits out of there. My hands are nice and clean so that I can pull that avocado right out of there. I've chosen to do two avocados because just for myself that's plenty. But if you are cooking for a family or having a dinner party or something like that, you might want to use lots of avocados. And then I'm going to get The other one. These are nice and ripe, and delicious looking. There we have it. And we've got one more. Okay. Oops, I left a little bit. There we are. Now, now that we've got that in, we're going to do a little bit of mashing. And this is a mashed potato masher. You can also use a fork if you don't have a masher available. And what else also works nicely is a pastry grinder. One of those little handheld pastry slicers. Those are great. So, I'm going to smash my avocado. Sorry about that. You're just going to... There we go. And you can see it's breaking up smaller and smaller as we go. Some people prefer their guacamole very chunky. And others prefer it to be really smooth and almost fluid-like. I personally 
being from Texas, prefer mine to be pretty chunky. I like large chunks of tomato in there, and I like large chunks of avocado. And you scoop it off the side. Get all of the excess off of the masher. Like I said, you need to wash your hands really well before you do this. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side now. And I'm going to go ahead and work on my other ingredients. I'm going to squeeze my lime in half. Not only does putting lime, not only does that add flavor, but it also keeps the avocado from turning brown. It will keep it a nice vibrant green for you if you add lemon or lime juice. And you're going to do the amount of onion that you prefer. Remember that there's no specific amount. Okay, I've got the amount of onion that I want now. Now, the pepper is going to be a little bit different because I like pepper taste in my guacamole, but I don't really like a whole, whole lot of heat. 
a lot of people think that the heat is in the seeds, but the heat is actually in this little membrane right here. So, what I do, is I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And now, this is the piece that's left. This is what I'll use to put in my guacamole. Makes a nice little sound. my pepper and now I'm going to move on to this garlic I don't use the whole clove of garlic cut that in half and I'm going to chop up a little bit of garlic garlic is pretty strong so a little bit goes a long way You want to get it as tiny as you can, but it's going to get even tinier when we put it into our bowl to stir. So don't worry too much about getting it exactly perfect. Because in a minute, when we stir everything together, it will get mashed up, okay? Don't worry too much about perfection. And now we're going to move on to our tomato. I like really large chunks of tomato in mine. I think that's what makes it best. This tomato here, it's very juicy because this is an organic tomato right out of my vegetable garden in my backyard. And those are always way better. back. Sorry about that. And 
And now I'm going to put all my ingredients in. Stir it. Once you've got just a nice bulky mix, you're going to add a little score of your lime juice. Got a little seed in there. delicate with my bowl today. And now you're going to use the other one. Try to get the seed out before if you can. You need to put a little salt and pepper. What was I thinking? Of course, just like the rest of the ingredients, the salt and pepper is just a matter of preference. serve in a little ramekin type bowl. You can put it with some nice corn chips, some tostados. These are nice.
And there you have it. You have our bowl of guacamole. Thank you so much for watching today. Goodbye.